Hey guys, it's me, Poppy Brain here, coming to you with a new video. I wanted to make some videos in between doing Vlogtober. So, I'm going to do an updated thread up video for you guys. So, the current update is, I'm going to go check thread up right now. Last time you guys saw a video, I can't remember, we were finishing packing up videos. I still have... One, two, three, four, I think like four or five boxes that need to be shipped, but I don't have any labels left to do that because you can only have 13 labels at one time. So I can't do that yet. But I have to rearrange the one box because I have a sweater and a couple other things in the laundry that need to be packed. So it's going to be more than five it'll probably be like seven or eight maybe i don't know so i have three that i shipped out they were all supposed to arrive on friday daddy says hi back there hi. daddy's tired Daddy's a lazy butt. Okay. So, yeah. So, I have three that I shipped. They were all supposed to arrive by Friday. That did not happen. One kit, I guess, is still being shipped to them, which is really weird. Because I shipped all three of them, obviously, on the same day. They've received two of my kits so far. They should be, according to this, processed. By the 21st. Wait. Holy crap, I read that wrong. They're not going to be processed till 4 6 20, 21. Holy crap. 4 6 2021. Mm -hmm. Damn. That's slow, guys. That's going to take months. I'm going to see if I can still claim labels, though, if those ones aren't processed yet. Because that sucks. That puts that sets me back greatly. If they're not going to be processed till 4 6 21, yikes. And then I have 10 boxes. So the 10 boxes that I had done in my last video that I had sent to be picked up, yeah, UPS or USPS lied to me and told me they were shipped out that they or that they had picked them up and they're still sitting in front of my house so trying to figure out how to get those to the post office because i can't request to have them resent okay this is just the estimated this is not guaranteed but holy crap guys this package though that has not arrived yet Oh, it's scheduled to arrive today. Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess apparently it just got delivered. Like an hour or so ago. So they just haven't processed it yet. But I'm kind of annoyed. Because now I can't reschedule pickup for these. Now I have to go take them down to the post office myself. Which is hard because I pretty much have to do it by myself. But Daddy's crazy work schedule and Queen Bee's crazy work schedule, I don't have help. And there's 10 packages. That's a lot of work for me to do. 10 packages by myself. Because they're not small packages. They're big packages. Um, And I will do an updated wish list, too. I'm going to just double check and take out the things that have sold already out of my wish list. There's three items. So I did add a bunch of stuff, 
There's stuff for Queen Bee in here. There's stuff for me in there. There's three pages of items. The first order is going to be the cheaper stuff that I can buy. Or the cheaper stuff that's eligible for the new code coupon or whatever. Or I might just say screw it. And depending on daddy's paycheck. Get it on Friday. I don't know. Because the one thing I do. The one splurgy thing I do want to get Friday for indefinite. Because I know we'll be able to afford it. Is there's a. At Walmart there's a dome. Shaped. Projector. I don't know if you guys have ever seen like the ones that you get for like the bedrooms. They're like dome shaped ones and they do space and stuff. Well, this one is 13 bucks at Walmart, and it does haunted houses, ghosts, witches, I think jack-o'-lanterns, and skeletons, I believe is what's on it. It's super cool. And it'll match the colors, if you guys can kind of see the lights flashing in the background, it'll match the colors of Daddy's whole computer setup, which will be cool. But we gotta see because daddy has to pay us half of the phone bill. Right. But he has pretty good hours though from our trip and everything else. So not super worried about it. But I'll give you an updated wish list. If you guys would like to see a Halloween wish list video, I will totally do that. Let me know in the comments down below. We'll make that another day of Vlogmas. Because I really haven't done much Halloween decor shopping. As much as I would like to. I mean, my list is growing, but it's not super big. It's literally... There's a blanket I've been looking for that they had when Spirit first opened. And I've been checking every Spirit that I've seen since. And can't find it again. There's another blanket I'm torn between. They have at Spirit and Spencer's. It's a sand blanket. First blanket is a Coraline blanket. Second blanket is a sand blanket. The next blanket I want is a blanket from that I saw. If you guys watched my, no, this video will be up before. But if you watch day eight of Vlogtober, it'll be in my day eight video from Home Goods. There was a couple. There was a couple other things I wanted too from Home Goods. Little, um, like the fake books. I've been big into those this year. And there was a couple of snow globes I wanted. I really want a crystal skull, pink skull head. That is not in our budget though. I already know that because that's going to be a couple hundred dollars. Because I don't want like a crystal looking one. Like I want an actual like crystal. One from, like, the crystal shop. So that's not going to be in our budget anytime soon. That could be a dream. I definitely want something Sam-related. Looking for the perfect Sam piece. I'm obsessed with Sam this year, even though I was highly disappointed after watching Halloween. And what else did I want? Oh, yeah, I want the, the projector I just told you guys about. And I was debating. They had some cool Jade the Libra. If you go watch her channel, she found some cool um, Halloween wax warmers at Walmart. But I don't know, because we don't really use the one we have. And then, Oh yeah, and then the other thing I really want too is the bat pocket back holder. If I can ever find it. But, and then there's a couple clothing pieces I want and such. But, again. I got a Sam shirt, so I'm happy about that. Me and Queen Bee got our matching hoodies. Shirts, so that was cool. Me and Daddy got matching Halloween shirts. I mean, they're not identical matching, but they're very cute and similar. I can do a video on that if you guys would like. I I found a ghost one that Daddy bought me for like four bucks from Old Navy. And then I found Daddy at a $5 one at Walmart. That was a ghost one that was similar. But that's not what you guys came to watch. You guys came to watch... So we're going to do my three pages of wishlist items from ThreadUp. 
Wow, guys. Okay, I just realized I wasn't filming any of this. So, we're going to work backwards in, I guess. Because I just realized I'm an idiot. So, we have this. I dress my baby dolls in this kind of clothes. I've never seen anything like this in my size. So, that's super cute. We have this Justice sweater. Which, I love Justice clothes, but their prices are redonkulous. So, I don't shop there. I usually second hand it. Once in a blue moon, I'll shop there. Last thing I bought from there was some hair ties for World Doll Day. Because I did a 90s themed last year for World, in 2019 for World Doll Day. But our justice currently closed. But I think that's cute. But I don't always wear sweaters like that. We have this shirt, which I think will be perfect for Lolita. I have some Lolita stylish shirt, button-up shirts. Because I really only have one dress that I wear Lolita shirts with. So, I mean, I think that'd be super cute. Because it doesn't really have much of a collar. And I'm hoping that bow is detachable or I can cut it off. Because I don't really care for it. And I like that it doesn't have a big stupid collar. Because both of my other ones, I believe, have the big collars. Which I mean are cute, but there's times when I just don't want all that jazz. Who doesn't need a cute holiday shirt and a dress? When And when do you ever see stuff like this in my size? It's always in, like, toddler sizes. So that's super exciting. This cute purse. I love the shape of it, and it's Betsy Johnson. And I'm obsessed with her Love Betsy collection. I have two bags from that collection and a backpack. Or a lunchbox. One my mom bought me. One I bought from... TJ Maxx, and then the ba the lunchbox I bought off, I believe Poshmark was where I bought the lunchbox from. Who can say no to a cute cat and jack dress? And for seven bucks, I'm not complaining. Because they're not cheap. This one retails for $26, which I don't think is correct. I think they're more like 20 But I could be wrong. We have another cute Thanksgiving dress. Which, again, really hard to find cute stuff like that in my size. We have this shirt. I don't know if it'll fit me. It's like a... I don't know why it's not showing the front of it. But it's like... Oh, there's the front of it. Sorry. It's like a sweater... It's calling it a long sleeve blouse. I think it's super cute. But it's an extra small, so I don't know. But Maybe. We have, because Queen Bee always literally needs pants, jeans, and capris and stuff. Because she wears a zero double zero, so I found those. I also found her these. I mean, for 10 bucks, that's not bad. I just bought her a pair from Label Shopper for 3 bucks, which wasn't bad. We got, I found that shirt for Queen Bee because she looks awesome in plaid. I mean, I usually do red plaid, but I figured mix it up a little. I was torn between this because I have a couple, I have a short sleeve sweater, like similar to this, but it's more knit and it's for over my Easter dress. So I don't know, but for three bucks, I mean, I might snag it. I haven't decided yet. Again, another Cat and Jack dress. When you, when you see Cat and Jack dresses for five bucks, you gotta snag them. Because Cat and Jack is an amazing kids brand. And so cute. I only have one Cat and Jack dress that I didn't thrift. Which was the one I bought for my... Let's see, I'm 27. So it was my 25th birthday? Or was it my 26th birthday? Yeah, it would have been my 26th birthday. Because me and Daddy were still together. So it would have been my 26th birthday. And I almost bought... They had it in blue, too, and I almost bought that. Because they had it. But I'm like, I'm not paying the price to buy it in blue, too. But if I found it on, like, here or something, I would snag it in blue. We have another shirt for Queen Bee. Because, again, plaid. This is the cutest thing ever. I've always wanted a sweater like this. Not loving the price, though, but 
I love sweaters like this. So cute. With all the pretty rainbows. And, ugh. Love it. We have another pair of... Oh, these are yoga pants for Queen Bee. Because she wears a lot of sweatpants. A lot of leggings. These I really like. These are Forever 21 pants for Queen Bee. And for six bucks, I mean, I'll take it. Because usually pants for her are like 40, 50 bucks for one pair. Like, they're insane. Because, again, she wears a specialty size. Ooh, another boutique style dress in my size for six bucks. I mean, it's Christmas. Gotta love it. I don't have any leggings that would match it because I got rid of most of my Christmas leggings because I hated them. But, you know, maybe they'll have some cute ones at Walmart this year. I can snag a pair. Queen Bee likes denim skirts. So I found this in her size. And it's American Eagle, which is good. Name brand cheap clothes are always really good. Especially if it's like pink or anything. Because she's obsessed with Victoria's Secret. But those are cute. We have this I thought would look super cute on her. I don't know why. She might. I might have to cut the pom-poms off, but... Yeah, I think that'd be cute on her. So I picked that out. Because she likes stuff like that. This I thought was really pretty. I don't know if I would actually wear it, though. But maybe. But I'm not super loving the price, though. But I don't know. That was one of my maybes. Uh, this was another maybe, too. I love the style. I love the color. I don't have anything that color. But again, I don't know if I'd wear it because I don't really dress up that much. But, I mean, it's only 7 bucks, so that was a huge maybe. We have another shirt for Queen Bee. Blue plaid. I'm trying to get all different ones. Cause last time I bought her plaid, I bought her red plaid, and it was, like, in different prints. And, yeah. She didn't really wear most of the stuff, though, honestly. <laughs> This I thought would be super cute on her. She likes stuff like that. I mean, I don't know so much the, the um, like, button-up effect, but, like, the sleeves like that. She likes those kind of cut-out things. I've gotten her a couple that have looked super cute on her that she's absolutely loved. We have another shirt for Queen V. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. I figured we could try. It's only nine bucks. I've seen these all over the internet. They're stupid prices. But I was debating. Maybe. That's a maybe on my list. This I thought was super cute. I love the ombre colors of it. I don't know where I'd wear it. And I love the back of this dra uh, dress. Yeah, shirt. Don't know where I'd wear it, but that's super cute. I mean, with a pair of black leggings... I could pull that off. Mm. We have another one of these Santa dresses. I'm not going to pop that up because you guys have already seen it. Ooh. We have this Halloween shirt. That is Disney. It's almost like a short dress. Oops, I thought that would be cute. You never really see again stuff like that in my size. Now this I thought Queen Bee would really like. That's pretty. It's got like the open back. <laughs> I'm big into like crap like this this year. So I found that. I really like that kind of style. I don't know a lot of these brands. So I'm not basing a lot of the stuff on brands. This one is a pink one. And it's got like the mesh cut out and everything. I just thought Queen Bee would love that. So I picked that out for her. I picked that one out for Queen Bee. For five bucks. 
Mm, what else? Oh, we picked out this one for Queen Bee. I don't think she'll like too much because it's pink, but she's kind of liking pink. This one I thought... Would it, I don't remember. I must have picked that out for myself. Yep, yeah, that's going to go. I, I don't know. Not loving it. <sighs> this shirt. I don't, again, don't know where I'd wear this, but super cute. But the price is ridiculous. Because even with the code for the new first order, still $31. But, I mean, I guess that's not bad considering the original price. The retail price is $220 for it. But it's got like the back is all, it's like see-through, but it's like solid panel. I think that's really pretty. I have nothing like that in my closet. This, now that I'm looking at this, it looks like an old lady. Okay. That's getting off my list. I hate that it goes all the way back to the top. Doesn't stay on one thing. Again, Queen Bee always needs pants. So I thought she might like those, but I don't know. They might be too wide-legged for her because she likes skinny jeans. So, Maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to pop this open, but a shirt for Queen Bee. This I thought was cool. It's an extra small, but it looks like it'd be oversized on me. So we're going to try it. That's cute. This one I'll pop open. I don't usually wear Gap Kids clothes. I don't. Their sizes are really weird, but I might be able to fit into it. I don't know. <laughs> Because I fit really weird in gap size as it is. I don't typically go for flower pants, but those I thought were super cute. With a cute pair of boots for fall? Yeah. Thought I'd rock those. I mean, and they're only 13 bucks, which I mean, is about average for what I pay for jeans. My dad says that's expensive. My jeans typically run not thrifted. About 13 to like 16 bucks. My dad said that's expensive. I'm like, no, not really. We got Queen Bee, this shirt. I thought that was cute. I mean, I don't know if that'll fit me. It's a small, but I figured we'd try. I got these. I don't know if Queen Bee will actually wear those, but I figured we would try. This was super cute and in my size. When you ever see cute boutique stuff like that in my size, it's always toddler sizes, like I've been saying. There's the, whoops, there's the matching pants. It's so dumb that they're selling them separately. We found another pair of pants for Queen Bee. Another plaid shirt for Queen Bee. A purse. I like the funky purses. We found that shirt. Again, I don't, I don't know if Queen Bee will actually wear that. And we found her this old navy plaid shirt. We have this purse I've been seeing at Target. That's super cute. We found Queen Bee a pair of jeans. Another pair of jeans for her. And a plaid shirt. That one is American Eagle. I'm partial to rainbows. So obviously I picked that out. This dress. I'm not loving anymore, honestly. So we're going to take that out. The llama, though. Right? That's a llama? Yeah, that's a llama. I liked the llama. That, I thought, was the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's so little. It's so cute. I mean, who doesn't love a ballerina and a mouse? Reminds me of Al Blech. Angelina Ballerina. If you guys know who Angelina Ballerina is. I thought these were super cute. Obviously, they're going to be way too long on me. They're a medium. But I've been looking for some more yoga pants. And it's really hard to find ones that ever fit me. Yeah, I don't know. I can't decide if I like this skirt or not. But it's another Justice skirt. We have those for Queen Bee. Look at how pretty that dress is. I thought that'd be super cute on me. We found this for Queen Bee. Whoops, you guys can't see that. Okay, I'm not a huge Moana fan. I just like... 
that one song that she sings. Where she's like, you know, debating, going out, wants to leave the island, and I can't remember the name of the song, but I thought that was super cute and boutique -y. This, I thought Queen Bee would really like. Queen, I, Queen Bee's kind of into camo. But she's more into, like, the real tree camo, but I thought we'd try. I always look at leggings like these on Children's Place. So, and I haven't bought any yet, but... So, I figured I'd throw that up there. And it gave, and honestly, this gave me kind of Fancy Nancy vibes. Again, I always look at skirts like this on Children's Place, but I haven't bought any yet. I thought Queen Bee would like that because she likes a lot of stuff like that. Here are some Adidas ones. I don't know because they're so light if I would actually wear them. But I love the ombre and the rainbow. I couldn't say no to that. Like, that's the cutest thing ever. It's a little chick. <laughs> Throw some leggings on under that. Yeah, we're good. Or one of my Easter skirts. Well, actually, no, an Easter skirt might be too much. You'd have to throw on leggings, but I don't have any Easter leggings. But I, mean, I can get some pastel ones. Okay, these I thought were the hottest thing ever. Those would look hella cute on Queen Bee. I'm going to pull these up for you guys to see. They're like solid on top and lace the rest of the way through. Yeah, they're $26, but oh my god, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. We got this boutique dress. God, and you never see stuff like this in my size. So when I do happen to find it, and especially for $12, bucks, i am going to snag it. I thought that was cool for Queen Bee. She likes stuff like that. And she used to be big into riding motorcycles till her now ex-boyfriend almost died on one. I thought that was a super cute backpack. I'm always looking for new backpacks because like I like mine but it has to be washed and like I never find one that's the right size like mine's still too big but like the smaller ones are too small because my wallet's so big and my phone. Cute little summer justice dress. Just because that person again. Queen Bee. Another one for Queen Bee. Those look like they match something. I can't remember, but boutique style in my size. Hell yeah. I thought that was really pretty for Queen Bee. Who doesn't want a puppy dog backpack? We found Queen Bee a purple tank top. This dress I just thought was cute in general. I really liked that throw over too. I have a dress kind of like this, only it's Christmas colors. So I figured another one. Not that I really ever have anywhere to wear it. Thought that'd be cute for Queen Bee. Just a random hat. I don't know if it'll actually fit or not, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get it or not. We have this cute dress. Don't know where I'd wear that, but those were super cute. Again, I don't know if I'd actually wear them, but they're Hurley, which is a good brand. That I was absolutely in love with, because dinos. That I thought was the cutest thing ever, too. I've seen backpacks like these, and I... I don't know. I kind of like them, but I kind of don't. We have this shirt, again, that I thought would be good for Lolita. Fashion. This dress, I've seen the leggings to these at... Walmart. But I like the dress better than the leggings. Again, bright colors, fun colors. I have a dress similar to that for my baby dolls, so I thought that'd be cool. Halloween shirt. That cute dress. Children's Place shirts are always adorable. So we have that one. We have that bag. We have that dress, but I don't think I like that dress anymore. It's kind of plain. Okay, sorry. Alright, we have these are, again, Children's Place. I always look at stuff like that on Children's Place. We have some Arizona jean shorts. A holiday boutique style dress that I thought was cute. I don't know how I feel about this, but it's Cat and Jack brand, so maybe. This looks like the skirts from Walmart that you get for all the different holidays. So I thought maybe I'd try it. I have a shirt that matches it. I love the color of this, even though I don't typically like yellow, but I thought that was cute. 
This is super cute. Mm, Spickle me leggings. We have a cat and jack dress. I don't know how I feel about that hat. I'm debating. It's kind of cute. Who doesn't want an Easter dress? We have some cute short alls. I always like a good two colored outfit, especially bodysuit. That was a super cute backpack. I got another pair of short alls. Found that for Queen Bee. Might be a little big because it's a medium, but you can make it work. Birthday outfit. That was super cute. This is one of the well, piece I want the most. Kind of that kind of reminds me of Bobby Jack. You guys know who Bobby Jack is, but it's dresses brand. I thought that was cute. Cute little dino or mermaid dress. Flower dress. We have another holiday boutique style dress. I have one similar to this, but it's sunflowers. A bag. A Halloween boutique style dress. I've always wanted a hat like that. Not sure if that's the right color I want. Panda leggings I can always do something with. They're Jessica Simpson brand. We have this pink Republic sweater. I just like sweaters like that. Again, another holiday style dress. This random dress, but I don't know where to wear it. We have a cute rainbow scarf. That's super cute. That's Children's Place. That's super cute. We have this one. I have one similar to this, but this one's cute. Since I was born in the sparkle. We have a bag. This shirt we're going to get rid of. We have this dress, which is super cute. I thought that was cute. This sweater. We have this dress. This silver thing. That bag. And last but not least, these jeans. So that is my thread up wish list. I'm going to go though, guys. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.